Chapter 3. How I Built Confidence How do you build mental confidence? What does mental confidence mean to you? Do you think it's an essential factor to living a rich and fulfilling life? Do you think about it this way? Many people think about building a healthier body or the progress of their career, but never stop to consider how to build mental confidence. Think about the 10,000 hour rule, a concept popularized by popular. Think about the 10,000 hour rule, a concept popularized by Malcolm Gladwell's book, Outliers. That concept says that 10,000 hours of work and dedication can make you an expert on any category, but it's a classification few ever attain. For those, for those that do confidence, this is the result. I'm going to redo that real quick. All right. <clears throat> so page one is good. Kyle, or page 35. We'll start off page 34. <laughs> Hours of work and dedication can make you an expert in any category, but it's a classification that few ever attain. For those that do, confidence is the result. How do you progress faster? Is it possible to speed up and process of bodybuilding and retaining confidence? Is it, well, not bodybuilding, fuck. Three, two, one. That's what my brain wants to read is bodybuilding. <laughs> How do you progress faster? Is it possible to speed up process of building and retaining confidence? How can you better spend your time in order to build mental confidence? From an early age. To understand the need for confidence, and the impact it can have from an early age is critical and for your personal development. All right, I'm going to go over it again. <laughs> from an early age. To understand the need for confidence and an impact it can have from an early age is critical for personal development. The road to becoming a more confident person has revealed two methods that have proved to be most effective. Finding relevant information and becoming an un... un man, fuck. All right, I'm going to start this one over. I got this. Let me pre read it real quick. Information becoming an unending student of the game. I know I didn't say that. <laughs> That's probably why I stumbled on it. All right. <clears throat> from an early age, to understand the need for confidence and the impact it can have from an early age is critical for personal development. The road to becoming a more confident person has revealed two methods that have proved to be the most effective finding relevant information, and becoming an unending student of the game. I don't have a traditional school background. I didn't go to college to receive a two or four year degree. I barely have a year in the system, but I do have an exercise specialist certificate to show for it. I have to say that Columbus State Community College was perfect for me. Everyone's path with, with education is different, but I've learned over the time in my life, we're actually always learning. I'm going to give this chapter a read real quick or this uh, page real quick, Kyle, and then come back to it because it feels like it's smoother when I do that. Come. Three, two, one. I used to think reading was stupid. As I write my second book, I'm completely baffled that this is one of the parts of my thought process. I've always had a negative opinion towards traditional schooling because of my experience growing up. I felt like I was being forced to learn subjects I had zero interest in, making that a bad taste in my mouth even worse. All that I was interested in was doubling down and going 20 levels deeper on topics that interested me. Over time, I learned the value of reading and learned from others to deepen that knowledge bank. I realized that I didn't have to stick to what school was teaching me. And I've kept that desire for personal development in the knowledge discovery going throughout my whole life. I'm going to reread that one more time. Fuck. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Over time, I've learned the value of reading and learning from others to deepen that knowledge bank. I've realized that I didn't have to stick to what school was teaching. And I kept that desire for personal development and knowledge discovery going throughout my entire life. <clears throat> Building my education. The year was 1999. I was in dire need of real world education. The internet wasn't yet, and the wealth of knowledge we know today, and the only resource at my disposal consisted of conversations with people, books, and cassette tapes. That's it. What books did I need to read? What tapes did I need to listen to? How could I ultimately improve myself? 
These were some of the questions I asked myself as I ventured down the rabbit hole. My education base grew and my love for learning and absorbing pertinent information took off at a rapid pace. It doesn't matter whether it's about dieting, business, or process. Proper education in your field is a catalyst to making you both more comfortable and confident, especially when it comes to time for the application. As soon as I took this seriously every day, I instantly started to become more confident. I believe a lot of people stop learning once they leave school, but I actually did the opposite. I started taking more, it more seriously once I left. I realized again that the burden of success was all on me. It was only me. It, it was only me that it could help. So I needed to develop myself in an entirely different level. Get uncomfortable. Don't get it twisted. Exposure to uncomfortable situation is where the growth lies. You don't change while you're in your comfort zone. For example, I purposely get up early to start the process of learning before the day's distractions comp compete for my attention. Explicitly and consistently, uh, damn, that's that was a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling good about it. I, feel, I sound fucking smart, but hold on. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I'm going to start uh, at the end of that other page, Kyle. All right. I purposely get up to start the process of learning before the day's distractions compete for my attention. Explicitly and consistently allocating time for reading and study ensures that I'm able to put in that work. All right. Three, two, one. I wish I could tell you that I had a lights out foolproof strategy at age, at age 20, but I can't. At this point, I had read for a few I had read a few impactful books and went to a few semesters. Momentum was beginning to build, but my consistency needed work. In reality, I was still a kid with no guidance, just trying to figure it out. That's why I'm writing this book. If I had seen something like this when I was 20 years old, it would have been a game changer for me. I want this book to be that for you, and I know we can help you achieve the goals you want to accomplish. Studying icons such as Arnold, Andrew Carnegie, and Napoleon Hill, along with practical application of knowledge, you know, knowledge deepened my understanding for a multitude of different scenarios. Situations and lessons I read about, about three, two, one. Situations and lessons I read about supplied me with a general blueprint for navigating through life and becoming successful. Hours of application and education will diet and, fuck, I almost had that, three, Two, one. Hours of application and education will undeniably strengthen your decision making skills and ultimately molding you into a more confident individual. More confidence in everyday life allows you to take more risk in order to win. Cultivating a mindset of resilience allows you to win. Expect to win, never to lose. This process took me over 20 years. The resource of the early 2000s weren't nearly at the level they are today. No, <clears throat> I'm going to do that again. The process took me over 20 years. The resources of the early 2000s weren't nearly what, at the level they are today. No one told me how to do this or handed me the keys to the castle. The good news is you can go faster. Modern technology has allowed information and knowledge to be readily available with click of a button. Take advantage. I would have loved to learn this stuff available nowadays. Shit, I still can't believe the resources. Be intentional. What line of work are you truly passionate about? What drives you to get up out of bed every morning? For me, it was the world of fitness and helping people. The funny thing is, I didn't know a single fitness professional growing up. It was like a fake job that didn't exist. Honestly, in 1997-98, when I really started thinking about going into the fitness business, which was my ultimate move, people thought I was crazy. I told the coal miners on my first day underground I wanted to be a personal trainer. To them... That was crazy because the only image that came to mind for them, they heard the word personal trainer was Richard Simmons. If you're under 40, you probably need to Google him and you'll probably laugh when you do. But seriously, that's what people thought of success back then when it came to personal training. That wasn't what I wanted, but people around me, especially the coal miners, they didn't get it. People didn't understand how I would make a living as a trainer and lifting weights. They saw that as a hobby. And now it's my job. I reminded people often that lifting weights isn't just a hobby for me. It's a fucking job and one that I love. What do I need to know in order to be more mentally confident? 
Objectively, answering this question immediately propelled me into the right direction. I might be, I might, ah, I'm going to hit that sentence again because I was gangster, Danny. Objectively, <laughs> three, two, one. Objectively, answering this question immediately propelled me into the right direction. <laughs> I made better decisions with my clients, training programs, and in my business. Slicing up the pie allowed me to focus on each component and make my business stronger. What did I do? I created a strategy and a system that would produce higher mental confidence. I started with studying the best of the best. Who's the best in bodybuilding world? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Everything Arnold. I read and watched everything I could get my hands on that was based around Arnold Schwarzenegger. Eventually, I was fortunate enough to learn from him personally, but this didn't occur until the 15-year mark of my journey of self-confidence. I logged countless hours and years on my own confident journey before I met Arnold. Learning and understanding Arnold's principles, mentality, and the thought process changed my life forever. I never came away from working alongside Arnold thinking I could accomplish less, that's for sure. I walked out of those meetings knowing that I was capable and ready to conquer the world. I would say Arnold understands what's possible, maybe more than anybody. I have, I have, <clears throat> sorry, three, two, one. I would say Arnold understands what's possible, maybe more than anybody I've ever been around because he's literally built the life he wanted through hard work, perseverance, and belief. I came away each time more inspired and asking myself why I didn't push my dreams to be bigger. He made me realize that it's all possible. You're currently reading one of those dreams. Me as an author, I dreamed about it. Now I made it happen. Like I always said, I don't kind of want it. I absolutely fucking want it. I want it all. What about strength? Having the ability to build and construct an effective strength program for my clients and I was very crucial. I needed to learn more about powerlifting and the principles behind strength. I started printing off every article that Louis Simmons and Westside Barbell po published. Placing an organization... Or <clears throat> start over. Three, two, one. What about strength? Having the ability to build and construct an effective strength program for my clients and I was crucial. I needed to learn more about powerlifting and the principles behind strength training. I started by printing off every article that Louis Simmons and Westside Barbell had published, placing it and organizing it in a big white binder. I didn't stop there. I actively saw it off. <clears throat> Three, two, one. It didn't stop there. I actively sought out people from Westside Barbell to learn from even more. If you don't know about Westside, it's one of the strongest gyms in the world. The training methods from Westside have changed the game entirely in the world of powerlifting and athletic training. And I've learned so much from them over the years. I came across John Bros of Average Bros Gym in Las Vegas, who is responsible for bringing the Bulgarian and squat every day methodology to America. I flew to Vegas to learn and train with him, eventually becoming friends still to this day. As you can see, my goal was to broaden my knowledge and learn from experts in the field. This is a tried and true method to getting better. By getting better and understanding more, you'll naturally build confidence. Total immersion. Dive deep. Even when you're not the best, understanding a subject in its entirety produces the confidence you'll seek. I totally immersed myself in the bodybuilding world, competing in 15 shows. I read all of the muscle magazines contributing to the publications and connected with people in the industry. Then there was an opportunity to meet Arnold Schwarzenegger or Rose the 15 years of practical, fuck, <clears throat> three, two, one. Total immersion. Dive deep, even when you're not the best. Understanding a subject in its entirety produces the confidence you seek. I totally immersed myself into the bodybuilding world, competing in 15 shows. I read all of the muscle magazines, contributed to publications, and connected with the people in the industry. Then, when the opportunity to meet Arnold Schwarzenegger arose, the 15 years of practical experience and the studying carried me through with flying colors. I knew the content at such a level that you would have thought I've lived in 1970 alongside him. You could see and feel it during the meeting. I learned everything I could from the Westside Barbell legends and their powerlifting philosophies. I wanted to understand, wait a second, during that meeting. Man, that jumped right to that. It's kind of weird, huh? From 42 to 43, he could see the field during. Maybe that's a that's a the thought stopped and then it went. 
it's like I kind of stopped the Arnold thing and then went to the, yeah, that's all right. Um, all right. All right, I'm just going to pick it up, Kyle, at the top of chapter or chop of page 43. Yeah, it's like I stopped that thought, which I mean, that's how I talk sometimes or whatever. All right, we'll keep it rolling. All right, three, two, one. I learned everything I could. For, this is exactly how my brain works. I jump back to West Side and I'll probably come back to Arnold, I'm sure. All right. I learned everything I could from West Side Barbell Legends and their powerlifting philosophies. I wanted to understand what it felt like to squat 700 pounds and to be coached by some of the best strength coaches that ever lived. I was even willing to go to the extreme degree of weighing a lifetime high of 240 pounds. Now, this was not a quality 240 pounds. Let me tell you, I'm not sure how I ever weighed that much. I was completely all in, cellulite on my legs and the whole nine yards. I wanted to learn and understand why the Bulgarians squatted every day. My squat every day quest began squatting every day for three straight years. Over those three years, I hit every one of my lifting goals and produced some of the most unique content that has ever hit bodybuilding.com, racking in over 50 million page views. My career changed forever. Total immersion, commitment, and dedication to a subject will eventually elevate you to expert status. For me, it was the craft as a personal trainer, as a bodybuilder, as a powerlifter, and as an athlete. That chapter's all over the place, but it's still good. Yeah, I think you kind of went that order anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Oh, I guess this chapter's not over. That page. All right. Yeah, sorry. I knew that. I'm at page 44, Kyle. You probably got to follow along a little bit when you do this. Yeah, I figured so. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Three, two, one. I was studying and absorbing as much information as possible for every style of diet out there. I tried keto, intermittent fasting, traditional bodybuilding, carb rotation, cycling, Atkins, and the anabolic diet. Anything I heard or read about, I tried. I truly was a guinea pig. Years of trial and error allowed me to help thousands of people with my signature anabolic fasting protocol. Due to full immersion with these topics, I became more comfortable and more confident. Consistent experimentation and education allowed me to ascend to a whole expert level. My mental and physical confidence soared. As I write this book, I'm zooming in on subjects such as tendon health, jumping, and overall explosiveness. The, the results thus far have been staggering, especially as a 43-year-old athlete. I will always try to lead by example. I'm teaching and displaying simultaneously. I've became a resource for those that need help. You be, three, two, one. I will always lead by example. I'm teaching and displaying simultaneously. I've become a resource for those that need help. You can become a resource by practicing what you preach, improve your understanding by seeking out new information and resources with alternative viewpoints. Doing the door, the, three, two, one. Doing this makes your doing this makes your game way stronger. It's a lifelong cycle in pursuit of learning, applying, and testing. Study it, apply it, live it. That's how you achieve true mental confidence within your craft. Self-education in the business world. When I was about 20 years old, I read a book called Conversations with Millionaires with Robert Kiyosaki as one of the authors. The book was given to me by my friend Mark Evans DM. The book opened my eyes to basic fundamentals of business that I was previous unaware of. For example, I didn't even know the difference between a liability and an asset. Without a basic comprehension of these concepts, it's near impossible to understand how debt works, overhead costs, margins, cash flow, and how to read a profit and loss statement. They don't teach you these concepts in the classroom. Intentionally allocating time for self-education filled the lack of schooling gap. Then when it came to sign a lease for my first gym at 20 years old, I could actually understand what was going on. Education and research helped me structure the deals. I learned how to assemble investors in order to buy equipment for my gym, as well as how to return their investment. I learned quickly how taxes worked for an entrepreneur without taxes being automatically withheld. I was forced to learn how to, how, uh, three, two, one, I'm gonna start at the top of this page. Education and research helped me structure the deals. I learned how to assemble investors in order to buy equipment for my gym, as well as how to return their investment. I learned quickly how taxes work for entrepreneurs. Without taxes being automatically withheld, I was forced to learn how and when to pay Uncle Sam. I learned the ins and outs of effective marketing as a small business with little to no budget. 
I learned the harsh realities of how fast I could lose everything by signing a lease for three years with no money in the bank. I had nothing to lose because there was nothing to gain. Well, I had nothing to lose because there was everything to gain. That's what I should say. I was I had nothing to lose because there was nothing to get gain. That's a that's a typo, but it was right. I had nothing to lose because there was everything to gain. Nothing to lose. Yeah, right. All right. I had nothing to lose because there was nothing. To, there was everything. To, I had nothing to lose because there was everything to gain. All right. What does risk reward look like? What does the budget look like? How do I handle my bookkeeping? How do I market my business? How do I set up my pay scale, raise my rates, or cut deals with clients? How do I make it? These are all questions that you need to be asking yourself as you figure out your current career in life. Addressing these questions now and coming up with a plan will prevent future struggles. You are in charge. Constantly learning and trying new things to see what works best. Many people see my position today and think, all right, three, two, I need to look at it real quick. All right, you are in charge. Constantly learning and try, constantly learn. Three, two, you are in charge. I need to make it more of a break. Sorry, Kyle. You are in charge. Constantly learn and try new things to see what works best. Many people see my position today and think that much of what I earned came naturally and it didn't. I read every piece of content put out by Robert Kiyosaki, Andrew Carnegie, and Napoleon Hill. I have an extensive library on my phone as well as at my house. If you told me when I was younger, <laughs> that's what would happen. As I got older, I would have thought you were crazy. When I was younger, I thought reading was dumb. Going to college after high school wasn't on my radar. I thought learning was something reserved for only the rich. I thought reading wasn't something that would matter or be helpful to me. I thought that us country guys with <laughs> would only work blue collar type jobs. Then I started to realize that I was in fully control of everything. And that included my personal education. Self-education costs quite a bit less than thousands of dollars of some private institution charge. Even if you go to school at any level, you are alone and are three, two, one. Even if you go to school at any level, you and you alone are ultimately responsible for your education. You got your work cut out for you a little bit on this one, Kyle. <clears throat> What's this? How many pages does this go to? Oh, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. I've got a couple grooves here and there, though. All right. Ready? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay. That could be it, too. My ear is going to fall off and I can't breathe. I got it. Yeah, yeah. It's like a rapper, you know, like a bar. <laughs> you love me, Trey, I know. Yeah, you got some work cut out. I'm, I'm getting my, I'm getting, you're getting your pay today. Yeah, that's a fucking fact. Fuck this damn... All right, ready? Trial and error. Should I have this many... Fuck. All right. T trial and error. Should I have this many people per hour? Should I have them pay monthly or weekly? Can I put one person in a group session? Can I put it one person in? Now I would do it again. Got it. Trial and error. Should I have this many people... Oh, fuck. Trial and error. Should I have this many people per hour? Should I have them pay monthly or weekly? Can I put multiple people in a group session? Could I have five people and still charge the same amount? Should I add a gym fee to my business as it grows? Should I have trainers rent space? These are all some of the questions I was asking myself and challenges I was facing when I first started my business. I had to experiment and see what would work and see what wouldn't work. I believe that I'm now at the top and fuck. I believe that, all right. This is my break. I'm getting, I'm getting hype. Hold on.
Alright. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> these are some of the questions I asked was that these are some of the these are some of the questions I was asking myself and the challenges I, I would fuck. My my fucking mouth don't work. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I got this. My swag feels better. I'm I'm ready to do this. These are some of the questions I was asking myself and challenges I was facing when I first started my business. I had to experiment and see what would work and see what wouldn't work. I believe that now I'm at the top of three, two, one. I believe that I'm now at the top end of the personal training industry. I attribute much of that success to the 20 plus years of education, trials and errors I made along the way. Success in training, success in business, success in life. Success ride three, two, one. Success relies on your ability to make educated, confident decisions over and over again. That's it. Take the person who has repeatedly made bad decisions throughout their lives. Bad decisions compounded over time lead to destruction. You will you will make bad decisions along the way, of course. Making bad decisions along the way is an inescapable inevitability. However, Bad decisions may have a silver lining. They have the capability to teach confidence too. If you're experimenting with a lifting protocol and it doesn't work, uh, fuck. Man, I try to get through that. This is like fucking smart guy. Sound, I sound smart. All right, we're going we're gonna to start at the end of that paragraph again. <clears throat> fuck, I was doing good too. All right. Take the person who has repeatedly made bad decisions throughout their lives. Bad decisions compound over time and lead to, to, to... Fuck. Take the person who has repeatedly made bad decisions throughout their lives. Bad decisions compound over time and lead to destruction. You will make bad decisions along the way, of course. Making bad decisions along the way is an inescapable inevitability. However, bad decisions may have a silver lining. They have the capability also to teach confidence. If I'm experimenting experimenting with a lifting protocol and it doesn't work work out i'm able to alter my strategy and make an appropriate fix a bad decision eliminates a possibility ultimately bringing you to closer to fuck i was close i do it one more time fuck i'm gonna start at the top of the 49 all right however bad decisions may have you However, bad decisions may have a silver lining. They have the capability to teach confidence also. If experimenting, if I'm experimenting with a lifting protocol and it doesn't work out, I'm then able to alter my strategy to make the appropriate fix. A bad decision eliminates a possibility ultimately bringing you on. Ultimately, fuck. I'm going to start it over again. Damn it. There's like 9,000 fucks in here. All right. Three, two, one. However, bad decisions may have a silver lining. They have the capabilities to teach confidence also. If I'm experiencing with a lifting proto protocol that doesn't work out, I'm then able to alter my strategy and make the appropriate fix. A bad decision eliminates a possibility, ultimately bringing you closer to the solution. I feel the same way in the business arena. If I create or do something that doesn't work, then I can shift my focus to finding the solution that does work. I'm confident that I can figure it out. This confidence is cultivated through years of studying and dedication to my craft. I understand the background and the calculated risk when making those decisions. I have the experience. I'm sorry. Three, two, one. I have the expectation to win. Some read this as arrogance or that I have my head in the sand and that I only think positive. It's not like that at all. It's due to hours and years I've spent molding myself into a more confident being. That was a fucking tough page. Big words, Daniel. Fuck. I am half illiterate, so this is a big win for me. Yeah, bro, that's a bar. Uh, uh, 
I was like, I saw that coming up because I'm trying to read ahead as I'm, re I'm like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's like a fucking brick wall coming at me like in a video game. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Page 50. Three, two, one. If I'm risking my money and time into a project, I expect it to work. And if it doesn't work 100%, I will alter my approach in order to find the winning strategy. Do you feel the confidence radiating through these pages? The confidence flowing through these pages is due to time involved and dedication to the craft as a fitness entrepreneur. It starts by fully understanding fitness, lifting, strength, explosiveness, and programming at an expert level. The second half of the equation involves being able to effectively run a business. Executing successfully, this means I'm creating quality products and building robust business systems that I know how to scale. It means marketing the product in a smart manner and having a clear future vision. Fuck. All right. I'm going to start at the top of this paragraph again. Do you feel the confidence radiating through these pages? The confidence flowing through these pages is due to the time involved, dedication to the craft as a fitness. Fuck. I'm going to start this page over. Page 50. <sighs> It was close. It was fucking close. Yeah. Fuck. All right. I need. I, all right. Start at the middle. About the. Do you feel? Okay. All right. Try. I feel your eyeballs. All right. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> it starts by fully understanding fitness, lifting, strength, and explosiveness, in programming at it. Fuck. It starts by fully understanding fitness, lifting, strength, explosiveness, and programming at an expert level. The second half of the equation involves being able to effectively run a business executed successfully. This means I'm creating quality products and building robust business systems that I know how to scale. Fuck, that's a lot. Let me redo that one. The second half of the equation involves being able to effectively run a business executed successfully. Fuck! God, God, it is. A, I'm getting executed. I'm. I need to stop it. All right. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. It starts by fully understanding fitness, lifting, strength, explosiveness in programming at an expert level. The second half of the equation involves being able to effectively run a business. Execute successfully. This means I'm creating quality products and building robust business systems that I know how to scale. It means marketing the product in a smart manner and having a clear future vision for the business. It can be a lot to handle. This is not an easy deal. This is why being successful is so fucking hard. But I can guarantee three, Two, one. But I can guarantee you, fuck. But I can guarantee you that it's all worth it at the end. Studying and time involved. The hours dedicated to studying, applying, and experiments are made. Three, two, one. Studying and time involved. The hours dedicated to studying, applying, and experimenting are mandatory. Personally, I knew that traditional college education route wasn't for me aside from my one-year Columbus State Community College. No one was going to hold my hand. The majority of people I was learning and studying from are people I would never even meet. No one was there to save me. It was all on me. At the same time, realizing it was all on me... All right, three, two, one. At the same time, realizing it was all on me was freeing. I knew it was on me. In that... Fuck. Man, man, I need a plan to execute. All right, three... Two, one. At the same time, realizing it was all on me was freeing. I knew it was on me, and that meant I needed a plan and I needed to execute. What I knew. I know how bad it. Three, two, fuck. I am struggling today. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how's this chapter gonna be thirty fucking pages? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah, it's back. All right. What I knew. I knew how bad I wanted it. My aim back then, still to this day, is to change future families. Fuck. Let me read this real quick. I knew how bad I wanted it. My aim back then is to change 
I'll give it a try. What I knew, I knew how bad I wanted. I wanted it, wanted it. I know, I knew, I know, not I knew. Okay, what I knew. I know how bad I want it. My aim back then and still to this day is to change future family generations for the better. The countless hours and minutes devoted to my studies and trials have been worth the effort. Consistently expanding and challenging my boundaries and limits is what it takes. I knew that I had to be extreme or even obsessive. I've been fortunate enough to have three, two, one. I've been fortunate enough to have many great decisions. Many great decisions through my career. It's crucial. All right. Made. Three, two, one. I've been fortunate enough to have made many great decisions throughout my career. It's crucial to understand that these decisions were not a result of pure luck. Do you get lucky? I'll redo that. Do you get lucky? Sometimes. Take it from Gary Player. The more I practice, the luckier I get. Mental confidence is... Jeez. Three, two, one. Mental confidence is essential when it comes to making better decisions. Over the last several years, the development of my mental confidence has permitted me to make more clear, concise, and composed decisions. These decisions have compounded over time into results that I'm proud of. I'm not pumping my chest, but rather I'm trying to over-communicate just how difficult it is to get to the top. Man, we're getting there. Oh, we're almost there, guys. Bet on yourself. The only person that is going to help you is you. You must cultivate a non-negotiable mentality in order to continually improve yourself. Don't get three, two, one. Don't go 50%. Go the full 100%. Many miss the mark here, and many say they are giving 100%. Man, fuck. All right. Bet on yourself. The only person that's going to help you is you. You must cultivate a non-negotiable mentality in order to continually improve in yourself. Don't go 50%. Go the full 100%. Many miss the mark here, and many say they're giving 100%, but aren't being honest with themselves. Many trainers do a great job with learning the craft, but they completely miss the second half of the picture, the business side. You must put the same amount of stock into both variables. I'm not a D1 caliber athlete with loads of natural talent, but I can tell you with full confidence, I've squeezed every ounce of possibility out of this body. Everything. I live the challenge. <clears throat> Three, two, one. I live to challenge, test, and demand more of the body, even as a 43-year-old athlete. I don't just kind of want it. I need to reread that. Three, two, one. I live to challenge, test, and demand more out of my body. Even at 43 years old, I don't just kind of want it. The same concept applies directly to my business. I'm regularly pushing myself to create new... Fuck. The same concept applies directly to my business. I'm regularly pushing myself to create new relationships, learn new and more effective ways of doing business, and learning how to better manage risk to be more successful. Is my time over? Pfft, absolutely not. But you're currently reading ah, three, two, one. Is my time over? Absolutely not. What you're currently reading is a part of the process. I'm striving to educate future family members that I will never meet. All right. To my kids, Alex, Madeline, and Andon, when you read this, whether I'm... Fuck, I don't know Three, two, one. To my kids, Alex, Madeline, and Andon. When you read this, whether I'm not around, whether or not I'm around. Three, two, one. To my kids, Alex, Madeline, and Andon. When you read this, whether or not I'm around, I want you to understand that I wanted your life to be different. I wanted to teach you what it takes to love and to love what you do and be successful. Read or listen to my voice. Fuck. I gotta read this again. Read or listen to my voice, knowing how serious about the impact to change the lives that will teach you. All right. To my kids, Alex, Madeline, and Andon. When you read this, whether I'm around or not, whether or not I'm around, it's like my brain like flips it. It's like so weird. Yeah. Maybe the first one, I just need to go to the second one. Okay. All right, Kyle. 
on 53. I'm going to go second paragraph at the bottom. Read or listen to my voice knowing how serious. Read or listen to my voice knowing how serious. All right. Three, <clears throat> two, one. Read or listen to my voice knowing how serious I was about making impact. Three, two, one. Read or listen to my voice knowing how serious I was about making impactful changes on our lives. I did it for you. And now I'm able to teach you the same process and to many more. As I record and write this book in 2021, I'm thinking about somebody in 2060 reading this. The content within these pages is timeless. It will never change. 20 years. It's taken 20 years to exude. Exude. Okay. I, I might have said that. Yeah. I, I, I use that word sometimes. I don't know if I use it in the right way. <laughs> uh, all right, ready? 20 years. It takes 20 years to exude this level of confidence and conviction. I believe that the words I'm saying wholeheart. All right, I'm going to read it. 20 years. It's taken 20 years to exude this level of confidence and conviction. I believe the words I'm saying wholeheartedly. One million fucking percent. Why not 100%? Because that's how aggressive I have to be. <laughs> Going 1 million percent <laughs> incites feeling and emotion. It gives you an edge. There's no halfway in when it comes to being an expert. It must be real, authentic, and aggressive. You have to be willing to do what others aren't willing to do. I didn't get up at 3 a.m. today. I got up at 2.30. I do, didn't do it because I needed more money. I got up this early because I wanted to take this project more seriously. I wanted to take my jumping. Fuck. All right. I didn't get up at three. I didn't get. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why I was writing it? Yeah, writing it. Yeah, I was like, "Fuck!" I'm probably like recording this. I didn't get up at fucking three a.m. today. I got up at two fucking thirty. All right, ready? <laughs> I didn't get up at three a.m. today. I got up at two thirty. I didn't do it because I needed more money. I got. The I got up this early because I wanted to take this project more seriously. I wanted to take my jumping goal more seriously. I wanted to take my life more seriously. Armed with perspective and non-negotiable attitude, I'm able to clarify my thoughts to make my mental confidence to, to take my mental. Fuck, I was so close. I'll do it again. Fuck. Persevering. I'm persevering currently. Persevering. Where? Armed and... Fuck. Yeah, I knew that. We almost there? Oh fuck, we're almost there. We're almost home. I can't. I think it's all the antibiotics I'm on. My fuck got cotton mouth. Like I smoked a fucking blunt. <laughs> God, I don't know what Wang mouth feels like, but you could probably explain it, Danny. <laughs> Jeez. All right, ready? <clears throat> we're almost there. We're almost home, fellas. I didn't get up at three a.m. today. I got up at two thirty. I didn't do it because I needed more money. I got up early. I got, fuck. All right, I got this. I didn't get up at 3 a.m. today. I got up at 2.30. I didn't do it because I need more money. I got up early. Got up this early. Fuck, my brain does not work that way. Three, two, one. I didn't get up at 3 a.m. today. I got up at 2.30. I didn't do it because I needed more money. I got up this early because I wanted to take this project more seriously. I wanted to take my jumping goal more seriously. I wanted to take my life more seriously. Armed with perseverance and a non-negotiable attitude, I was able to clarify my thoughts to take my mental confidence to the next level. <laughs> Mama, I'm coming home. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, get ready for the audiobook, and then we just play like fuck, yeah. fuck. <laughs> audiobook so live. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. All right. <clears throat> what about you? I'm here to check your mental confidence. Are you doing the right things in life to improve yourself? Are you doing those things, and are you going to give the mental clarity? Fuck. All right. I'm here to check your mental confidence. Are you doing the right things in your life to improve yourself? 
Are you doing those things that are going to give you mental clarity and confidence? That's my challenge to you. Take stock of your life and what you're currently doing. Be honest with yourself and make changes if you need to. Throughout this book, I will show you the structure and systems you need to fuck. Throughout this book, I will show you the structure and systems you need in order to build stronger mental confidence and the mentality it takes with a non-negotiable level. With at a non-negotiable no. Throughout this book, three, two, one. Throughout this book, I will show you the structure and systems you need in order to build stronger mental confidence and the mentality it takes to win at a non-negotiable level. You have to hear it. You have to read it. You have to understand it. Think about the compounded three, two, one. Think about the compound. Fuck. Think about the compounded power of the. Fuck me. All right, ready? Think about the compounded power of these pages and the audio you read and listen. Fuck. Think about the compounded power of the pages and the audio you read. Listen. One, two, three, ten, twenty. Okay. Think about the compounded power of the pages and audio you read and listen to over one, three, ten, or twenty years. How's your confidence going to look then? What will your decisions look like? Only then you will grasp the true essence of confidence. I got to reread it. All right. I got this. I'm going to start at the paragraph again. You have to hear it. Wait, three, two, one. You have to hear it. You have to read it. You have to understand it. Think about the compounded power of the pages and the audio that you'll read and listen to over one, three, ten, or twenty years. How's your confidence look then? What will your decisions look like? Only then you will grasp the essence of confidence.